What is up, Frizzell family? So, we are coming at you here. We got a bridge reglue. The bridge is prop yeah, popped off on this guild. There's the old bridge. Got the bottom side nice and cleaned up. So, yeah. So, bottom side. This guitar has definitely seen some play over the years he has played the heck out of it we're gonna put a cleat right here where this crack is so this is a heavy yeah heavy play guitar 12 string guild and it's upside down but yeah It's got some spots. He's it's it's been heavily played. When he dropped it off, it had some cracks and spots on it. He's definitely got his use out of it. So, a little explanation of what I did. So some of you Luthiers know this is gonna be my Luthier tip, not tip. So I went to Lowe's and I bought myself granite. So I bought myself a big sheet of granite like this for break for barely nothing. I can put my sandpaper on there and I can sand and it's always going to be flat. So therefore, I love using this method. However, and it works out great. So this is kind of my little luthier tip of the day. So, yeah, or my luthier thing. So I'm excited for you to see the rest of this guitar. So, I'm fixing to call him while I called him. And then we got a few other ones to start on. So, yeah. I'm going to get back and I will come back on the camera when I glue that up off camera. Just because I'm the only person here. So, I have to kind of, both my hands. But, yeah, we'll be back for self You with the uh, bridge glued. It's all glued down. Looking nice. <laughs> so, right now, just a few things gonna polish up the top the best I can we got a cleat glued in with that crack so we're gonna go through clean and polish up this guitar has definitely been played and been through the ringers so <clears throat> that's what's gonna be going on with that what is up for Zell family this is Brandon here and I mentioned that guild over there so yeah so ultim yeah ultimatum it's got a cleat that got glued with the guitar and uh, a bunch of things like that so I mean it's a pretty solid guitar in forms of playability it, it will be I mean that guitar has just been through the ringer but the bridge the main the reason it came in guys the bridge the the bridge was uh, coming loose it was coming up and that was the main reason why he brought it in is be well, one of the reasons the bridge and it just needed to be cleaned up. I mean, it's been through the ringers. Most definitely been through it and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow, either later on today or tomorrow, I'm going to polish up the frets, clean the board on it and whatnot. Make it, you know, it's definitely got battle scars on that guitar. So pretty much where it goes is it's definitely got battle scars on that guitar but uh ultimately ultimately you could you know multiple different things you could do with that guitar the top's still pretty good i don't see any belly bow or anything like that i think this guitar was made in the 80s i i think it's quite old i'm not sure but uh the best thing to do is to touch up some spots here, say there, and to kind of play a little bit 
and go from there. But I mean, Ultimatum, this is a solid piece, a solid guitar. And uh, I am extremely happy, well, with how it's turning out so far. Um, my workbench has been slammed. So my workbench has ever much been slammed with work and repairs and knocking them out, having the time to manage my home life, manage the store, and to manage other things. And uh, I've had some personal things that have happened that I've had to get taken care of. Uh, so I was in a car accident. Somebody told on my vehicle not paying attention. So I've had to deal with that headache. I think I finally almost got all that taken care of. So I'm just looking at one thing after another. But... Ultimately, I'm extremely happy with uh, with uh, some of the stuff. I'm extremely also happy. She was extremely happy with how the uh, the 175 turned out. I was happy with how the 175 turned out. So I'm just impressed with the stuff that goes on through here. And my abilities, and thank you for watching these videos. Sometimes maybe the audio is not right or the quality. I mean, I try to get it the best I can. I'm still working and experimenting with everything. So that's also a thing that you guys got to take in consideration here. But yeah, I mean, I'm working working pretty good on uh, on coming up with different things. And uh, this week, my, uh, my intern will be back this week. So that's going to help out tremendously with all the stuff that we got going on here in store and uh i think that's pretty much it whenever this episode airs out we'll have the fret job coming up either it's already happened or it's came up but we got a great episode of the fret job there and uh we're gonna try to upload a video a day i don't know how doable that is but we're gonna try to upload a video a day and uh try to make it try to make it pretty cool so i'm going to try to keep to a certain uh longevity of a video some videos are going to be a little bit longer than other but we've got a martin mexican martin in for some fret work i mean it's just a lot of different things that vary in. and then we've got some other fun guitars coming up you've seen on the wall those will be discussed about in yeah in further videos but, uh, thank you all for the support here. I am Luthier Brandon Edwards, and uh, you can check ForzellGuitars.com for my history of becoming a Luthier and what, it, what I did to become one and whatnot. And uh, that's pretty much it. We're lo I'm, my shop, my music store is located at 228 Jane Trail, Danville, Kentucky. So, not only do I build guitars out of here, and I repair guitars out of here, I'm a luthier shop. I also sell strings, accessories, new and used gear, and stuff like that. So, I'm also a music store, as well as everything else. So, you guys have a great, blessed week. Thanks for watching Frizzell Guitars.